I have the pleasure to present our honorary graduate, Professor Jonathan Ngoyen Van Tam, MBE. Professor Van Tam has been the Deputy Chief Medical Officer for England since October 2017. He gained clinical experience in emergency medicine, anesthesia, general medicine and infectious diseases. He also has clinical academic training in public health medicine. Since the start of the COVID pandemic, he has been an authoritative, clear and engaging spokesperson who has been a key part of the government's public information strategy. Born in Boston, Lincolnshire, Professor Van Tam attended Boston Grammar School before studying medicine at the University of Nottingham. Later, in a distinguished academic career in two phases, also at the University of Nottingham, he was a senior lecturer and consultant regional epidemiologist between 1997 and 2000, and Professor of Public Health, uh, Public Health Protection between 2007 and 2017. Professor Van Tam was awarded a doctorate in medicine for a thesis in epidemiology in 2001. He has published over 180 scientific papers and written for textbooks. He is co-editor of the textbook Introduction to Pandemic Influenza and was editor-in-chief of the journal Influenza and Other Respiratory Viruses from 2014 to 2017. His research has also had significant impact. He was recognised with an MBE in 1998 for his work lasting 12 years with Lincolnshire Army Cadet Force. He designed a medical kit to meet the special requirements of a large group of teenagers on camping expeditions and his ideas were adopted by the Ministry of Defence. Professor Van Tam is a Fellow of the Faculty of Public Health, the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Medicine, the Royal College of Pathologists, the Royal Society of Public Health and the Royal Society of Biology. He has recently been awarded Fellowship of the Academy of Medical Sciences. In addition to his distinguished academic career, Professor Van Tam worked in the pharmaceutical and vaccines industries between 2000 and 2004. He became consultant epidemiologist and head of the Pandemic Influenza Office at the UK Health Protection Agency in 2004, and has been a consultant to the World Health Organization on influenza since then. He chaired the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control Expert Advisory Group on H5N1 human vaccines and sits on the UK Scientific Advisory Group for Emergencies, SAGE. He was also chair of the UK New and Emerging Respir Respiratory Virus Threat Advisory Group from 2014 to 2017. Professor Van Tam has become an important public figure during the COVID pandemic and has been a regular contributor to official news sharing and advisory commentary on the unfolding circumstances. What has set him apart from many others, however, is the ability to, uh, to convey complex information to interested non-specialists, often through engaging metaphors and analogies. For example, last minute equalizing goals, penalty shootouts, waiting for a train, and how, in terms of its storage requirements, coronavirus vaccine is not like a yogurt. The accessibility of his interpretation of rigorous science and general advice on government recommendations and directives has increased public awareness and compliance through uncomplicated and informati informative educational messaging. He has made an outstanding contribution to public life. I am pleased to present him as a worthy candidate for the degree of Doctor of the University Honoris Causa. Vice-Chancellor, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests and graduates, thank you for inviting me today to participate in this graduation ceremony and thank you to Bishop Grosseteste University for the honour bestowed upon me through the granting of a doctoral degree honoris causa. I'm humbled and privileged in equal measure. I was born and raised in Lincolnshire, in Boston in fact. I was a junior anaesthetist at the Lincoln County Hospital just down the road and I have a long association with the Lincolnshire Army Cadet Force headquartered nearby and in fact um, in the, my time of service, headquartered just over the road from the university. And Lincolnshire is still where I reside today. This honorary degree means more to me than you can imagine. You are attending this ceremony today, not to hear me, but because you have recently successfully completed a period of your education at this university. Education is perhaps the greatest gift you can be given and once given, it cannot ever then be taken away from you. It opens doors for you, and it opens your mind to new ideas, 
creativity and things you never knew existed before. You may have noticed that I said completed a period of your education at this university and I did that because I can assure you that your learning will not stop here. This fine university has given you the skills and platform to build on, to learn more and to continually challenge the status quo. So please do not stop learning. The past 17 months has been really difficult, immensely difficult, including for all of you here. Um, who, you've had your education and your lives so dramatically disrupted. I know these months have also been the hardest of my professional career. Bishop Grossetest University has a long and proud tradition of education, but especially one in recent years of training people for lives of service delivering education, delivering health and social care, as well as protecting mental well-being. Never have those services been more important than now. We cannot and we should not shy away from the fact that children and young adults have suffered during this pandemic. The loss of education, the reduced social interactions and the impact of lockdowns on their mental health will in some cases have been significant. The health and social care system has had to survive a massive shock and sadly in some parts of the world it has partially collapsed. The work of our health and social care teams has been truly extraordinary. I'm proud to call them all my colleagues. Some of you may also have volunteered to help to support in the Covid response and on behalf of everyone here I want to thank you for doing that. Many of you graduating today will now be involved in the recovery from this pandemic. It will be a big professional challenge for you in years to come, but I cannot understate how important that work will be. How we rebuild and how we restructure is going to impact every citizen in this country and the generations that follow on. It can nevertheless be a watershed moment in history and you will be the ones shaping it because education is the cornerstone of our society. We are now, thankfully and cautiously, heading to a safer and I hope more normal world. This is in large part to the science discoveries at universities around the world. In addition to health and social care workers trained by universities, Universities have also produced the science graduates and the science breakthroughs that have enabled us to produce COVID-19 vaccines for the world in timeframes that would have been frankly unimaginable even 10 years ago. The Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is largely a product of British university educations. Over 400 million doses have already been distributed into the global supply chains and all of them on a not-for-profit basis. And over two-thirds of that volume has gone to low- and middle-income countries. Literally thousands and thousands of lives have been saved. Vaccines, therapeutics, excellent health and social care workers, they're all the fruits of good education. And so, Vice-Chancellor, I would like to conclude with three closing comments. Number one, thank you for the honour of this degree. I am truly humbled. Number two, I want to remind you again of the value of the education you've received here at this university. I encourage you to hold on to the values of education throughout your professional lives. And when the time comes in due course, pass on those values to your children. Finally, I want to say to the new graduates of this university, do not sit on the sidelines. Roll up your sleeves and take part in rebuilding the world you now want to see for the future. Thank you.